Hi, I'm Dave Stanley with Red Leaf Technology. Uh, I'm here to introduce uh, the TS Control 32. It is uh, a 32 inch touchscreen display. Um, and it's an uh, optical technology, uh, plug and play, ready to go with any uh, any software of your choosing, which is could be anywhere from Pro Tools to Sample Tube, what I'm running here, uh, Nuendo Logic, works in a Mac and PC world. Um, and it's, a, it's basically a, a mouse replacement or it augments the use of a mouse because you don't have to go reach for the mouse input and you know, it's more a little bit more intuitive to use uh, the controls with your fingers I've found and uh, I tend to mix in the box so I kind of wanted to come up with a solution for the user to make it a little bit better experience for mixing in the box and here's what I've come up with. Um, desk as well, the way I'm standing, the way I'm sitting. Um, I have these, I have this system, I have two touch screens running at the same time on the same project in an extended desktop mode. Uh, so this is Windows, Windows operating system with sample to running. So I'll just go ahead and start clicking around and show you what I can do as far as setting up a mix. Um, you know, fader movements is a big one. Uh, it's a matter of just grabbing the fader and moving it up and down. I'm using, as you can see, I'm using my wrist to, to, to stabilize where we're going, and so that you know you don't get any, uh, you know, miss, missed uh, coordinates, things like that. Um, it's capable of doing anything a mouse could do, such as a right click and a drag, a click and drag, that sort of thing. So I'm going to do a right click on on our EQ section here. So it's a right click to the, with the touch screen is press and hold. And I'll bring up my EQ section here. So then I can go ahead and do, change my EQ points, you know, um, you know your, your Q curves, you know, the way, you, what, just like mixing with the mouse, but you're using your fingers, then it's a little bit more tactile uh, experience for the user. Um, I have this, I have a pretty large project here, well large for me at least, um, and what I've done was, uh, I've got this extended desktop, so I can see the whole, all the channels going at once here, you know, so I can visually see what's going on with my project. And of course, this would be good for automation as well. Um, I can I can automate, uh, you know, volume curves, you know, by running with the run like run it like a, like a regular mixer, as opposed to doing it with the mouse. Um, I showed you the EQ. Um, again, here comes a right click on the on the vocal channel here. I'm gonna bring up the vocals. Now notice on your screen up here you're running Mac. Is that the same project that we're looking at there? But that's a Mac. Right? Yes, that, that's a different project, but it's okay. on the Mac. Okay. Yeah. So I just wanted to display uh, uh, the, the Macintosh here that it is compatible with 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 Mac. I've got Logic running here, and it's and it's fully compatible. You can do uh, you know your fader movements here. Um, here's here's your EQ. We just have this. We just have one of our units upside down, okay. just to, just to, just for demonstration purposes only. It'll never be set up this this way. Um, the reason why this fader was jumping on me is because I had automation uh, selected on. That's why it was all over the place. But now that I got automation off. I can turn up. I can turn up the volume. I do a right click on the uh, on the UAD uh, on the UAD plugin here. So I can bring this up here in the foreground. And then I can I can change my gain settings. You know, anything you want to do on uh, with the mouse is what you can do with the system. That's right. That's about the gist of it. Okay. Thank you very much, Dave.